Yo, not yet. Low key. Zap. Zaptus is much harder. Hello everyone, Rizonic here and welcome back to Pokemon Reminiscence. See ya! Last episode was really intense. We battled Zapdos like in two attempts. Yeah, I was having a hard time in first attempt since now that I have Robska, I managed to defeat him really easily. So yeah. So if you guys do enjoy this episode, make sure to like, comment, what you guys think of this episode, share this with your friends who loves Pokemon, and might as well subscribe. It really means the world to me, and I really appreciate you guys do it. So yeah, wanna see my new team right now? I've been grinding a lot. Now we have Crocodile, Lorantis, Toxic Croak, Skeledurgy, you know the Crocolord that I caught? Yeah, I didn't actually get to put in on footage, but it was pro I probably caught it off when it was off grinding, off screen grinding. Yeah, we got Scarily Durgy. Uh, obviously Squawk Swell. This guy's a beast. Deals pretty good damage. And Robska. Uh, since I still don't have any tur Wait, how many? Yeah, I need 20, 20 heart scale to evolve meta into meta gross. Yeah. So yeah, let's get started. So we're now in a, uh, some kind of a deserted island. Forgot to turn on the ink sub subtitle uh, translation. Since we're out of fuel, and now we're going ahead to the last island where Arctic, probably Galarian Articono is. A shiny Galarian Articono is currently living. So, so far, I'm really, I'm really. I'm really liking this game, and I'm really enjoying it, and this concept of adventuring, it's really fun. A Driplin with Brain Dance? Weird. And I also got a lot of new items as well, so... Really helpful. Oh yeah, I've got to... Let me show you this item that I got. Or was it? Dual Spirit, not that. Yeah, this one. Brave Sword. Increase your attack and special attack, just like the the one from uh, what was it again? Mirror of the Sage. Yeah, and the one that increases your invasion as well. So, I mean, pretty getting a lot of new po new light. Pretty, that's really useful items. Hmm. I already have Toxtricity, so... Hmm. There's, there aren't really no bonus, bonus stats, so I guess I'm gonna pass this one. Oh shit! Wow. Oh shit, they're both... Oh, Couple of Great Frigus is just... I think had a pretty good defense stat rather than its special defense stats. Oh, could I just one shot it? Shit. Please don't please don't get one shots. Oh thank god I survived. Would you be interested in joining our sec ahem, our Ra Rowlet fan club? Let's just looks at me strangely. Yes, I can't. S how dare you? What? That's a nice Rowlet. 
Come on, how can I say no to a free Rowlet? Rowlet's one of my favorite Pokemon, Lucius. How dare you? Nope, I don't even own a normal type Pokemon, so why would I need it? Oh shit, for Oh yeah, I also forgot to tell you guys that I also got an item that in three fuck I said I spoke too soon. I said too much that I ah oh, fuck. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, I got an item that whenever you're miss an attack, it increase your attack. Yeah. It increases your attack, a special attack. So I already, I got a lot of really good items. Yeah. Wait. Fuck, I don't have. Can I do it though? I'm gonna try. Oh, I should get a Dracovish. Yeah. I've been looking for a Dracovish, dude. I can't. I can't seem to find one. So. Ah, uh, shit! How am I gonna do this? So cannon. I'm gonna try Skidderdurgy. Torch song. Oh shit! Of course. Oh! Please just three times. Fuck. God damn it. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely need. Oh fuck you. Yeah, screw you, Tokanen. Five times? Are you f fucking for real? Okay, fine, I revive Crocodile, Jesus Christ. Oh, you're annoying. Oh, I already got an. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I already got a Rowlet. But it has a better stat than my first Rowlet, though. Oh, it's the same. Oh, oh, I guess this is, this is going to evolve into a Soyan. The Sendwai, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. I also got this dude right here, probably going to put on my team. I don't, this guy doesn't even have like, attack moves, so why bother putting on my team? Nice. Let's go for extra sensory. Shit.
Yeah, I really hate when wild Pokemon do that. Like calling for help. It's annoying as shit. Please don't tell me you're gonna call another Pokemon. I could have just one shot it. Yeah, it's definitely going for. Yep, I knew it. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna swap. Oh, shit! I guess I'll survive. Not for long. What the fuck? You could have just one-shot it! Jesus Christ! Now I'm gonna be- oh, fuck you, Tropius. Control. Oh! Okay! We got Claymore right here with Struggle Bug, B Cutting, Rough Slide, Air Slash. That's really good. Yo! 10% bonus stats. That's really good. But oh, I really want this guy. Yo, where should I pick? I mean, we already had a ghost type with Skilderg. Skilderg? Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Yo, I'm gonna go with Cleavor. What's that for? Oh, come on. Motherfucker doesn't want me to have. Damn it. Okay, one shot this. Yeah, I was actually going for Charcadet, but since my Charcadet is a fire a special attacker, I don't want to or I don't want Armor Rouge, I want Cyril Edge. <laughs> Golden Go! This Pokemon is made up of gold coins. Perhaps you can get a couple of them from you, Mr. Anthony. Are they in need of money? No. Why would I waste my money? Plus, I already learned my lesson from Golden Go. Okay. It took a lot of my gold coins for some for an item that's not even that useful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick my I'm gonna stick with those little guys. I don't have any pearls. Ah, let's do this. Let's go. Holy shit! Switch immediately. Ah, oh, thank God the defense that. Let's go. <laughs> the mic damage. Right? Nice. Artillery. Yeah, I gotta have to switch.
Yo, not gonna lie, prom I I don't even know what's the reason behind Rumble Gas and like, bro, wh why was it? Why is a tumbleweed a Pokemon? Like, Gen Gen Nine has the weirdest Pokemon of all time. Like, for real, super weird. I'm hungry. You're always hungry, hungry, aren't you? I'm a powerful Pokemon, and I require a lot of food. He's a human right now. Don't make excuses for that. What do you like in your Pokemon form exactly? It took you so long to ask. Well, it is a big bird. Ahem. I'm a Pokemon with grand and extravagant appearance that magically soars through the sky. It's a big bird! You clear have something against big, big bird. May I know what it is? They stubborn, disobedient, and always hungry. The most shameless species there is. And you also use your pens to write in journals. Maybe. I don't, I don't know anyone who does. I don't know if he's serious or not. It reminds me, didn't Minus read your diary? I'm not sure, it, but... Even if he did, I doubt he will find any anything of interest. Oh yeah? Can I read it then? No! Okay, okay! Beyond is curious, but at the same time, Beyond wants to respect the master's privacy. Well, Beyond, be quiet and Beyond will not question any of my wishes. Now, calm down, better concentrate on looking for wood on the ground. Oh yes, I chose the right path. It took me to a Prana Bubble. You're not gonna lie, I really like the concept of Prana Bubbles, you know. <laughs> as long as I have Pokeballs, I, ha I will have no problem with getting free Pokemon. I really love the concept, to be honest. I really do. Please, just even four. Fuck. Can we just one shot it? And he calls for help. She calls for help, of course. And that's Halar, of course. You yeah, still don't know what alarm means. If you guys do know, can you like tell me what it is? Because I like, really want to know. I mean, I translated on Google, it said. Wing. Is this like some kind of disease or something? Some sort? Oh, really? Fuck. Fuck you, Absol. Good thing I survived. Holy shit. Of course, I'm not gonna survive. Fuck you, Absol. It's gonna wet rock slide this shit. And it even. Karma. Karma hits so fast. And even. <laughs> ah. Fuck. I hate it when Pokemon does that, really. Well, yeah, let's see what, po what Pokemon can I s can we get in this Prana Bubble. Oh! Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, interesting. Salazzle. Yeah, definitely going for that. 
And I have to revive Toxic Croc. Yeah. Let's proceed. Ah, oh, fuck. I really need to change my team. Yeah. I haven't found a, sing a really good flying type Pokemon. Ah, <laughs> Thank God that Ludicolo didn't call Pokemon. If he does that, he will die. What? Why would taking the pearl from him go is what this type of Pokemon are like? Yes. Now all I need is to find a shelter. Because I haven't really... I haven't really... Oh, wait, wait, okay, 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 okay. Dusty Meteorite. Something seems alive inside. When you defeat a Pokemon, 25% increase a random stat. Yo, Loki. That is really useful. Disgusting. Ineffective moves lower the opponent's random stat. Curse book. When whoever reads it... Yo, I'm I definitely gonna need this, dude. All I... Okay, what should I replace it? Fertile, yeah, extract. Don't need it. How do you know? You already want to battle this. Ah, oh, dude, I really want to battle this carrier. If only I really have good Pokemon. I will battle you with no hesitation. Like, oh, yeah, I forgot you have Darkrai. Holy shit. Still don't know. I mean, I, can, I could battle you, but. I'm gonna deal with that dark eye. Nine tails. Mavus stiff. Dracozolt. Uh, I'm gonna go with this puppy. Yeah, he got a really f a five percent stat. I, I mean, wait. Okay, I can actually. You know what? Let's go, Mavus stiff. I want myself some Dogu. Yeah, definitely want a Dogu in my team, bro. And that's why I'm catching a lot of Pokemon. So I can finally decide what will be my final team, because I'm super excited. I think this game is completed, I think. This girl. Isn't this from. Isn't she from Steam Skull? You know, one of the admins? Yeah, he definitely is. She definitely is. Lorantis. Yo, what really got me weird is that why Lorantis isn't a bug type Pokemon like Libani. Like, this is definitely a, a mantis. Why is it not a bug type? Weird. But. Oh, Clock, clock Sire. Yo, low key, I want a Clock Sire in my team. This guy's really cute. See? And, it, it, and Cro Crocodile just one shot the guy. Poor dude. Okay, one earthquake should kill this. You gotta be super effective, right? Oh, 
Oh! Really? What the fuck? Okay, that's fine to me, I guess. Yep, one shot. And the problem is, I don't have. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, please take me to a campfire. It didn't, fuck. That's a pseudo wood right there. And a bumble gas. Looks like there's a quite a bit of wood around here. Let's collect some. Hey, hey, Anthony, you know what wood is, right? Well, of course. What's that for? Then you all, you will collect only and only wood, right? Obviously, well, leaf leather could also work. I'm worried that, I'm worried about what you're going to find, but it's okay. Focus, okay? I really don't do it on purpose. But yeah, I would also help search. Hey, don't judge me. That Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna Move this guy real quick. Aha! This club of straw will do. Hey, where do you think you're going? Come back here! There was a Pokemon, Mr. Anthony, leave it alone. And know that your herbs contain a lost soul. Be careful. I understand, I'm sorry. Yo, the game really wants me to interact with Sudowoodoo, isn't he? Isn't. Isn't it? This look, it will burn well. Yeah, that's a Sudowoodoo, Anthony! Of course. Well, all due respect, Mr. Anthony, how have you been able to survive alone all this time? You are unable to distinguish between the most common materials and simple Pokemon. What I had never had to do any of this alone, all while has always helped me gather fruit and find anything I needed. Oh, you must refer to Walren. You left behind at home. Does he live with you? That's right. It was one of the Pokemon I used to battle when I was a carrier. It was the only Pokemon that stayed with me after freeing the others. Now that I think about it, I own him a lot. It's nice to see how humans and Pokemon live together and help each other. It will be nice if we finish this as soon as possible. Peon, please tell Mr. Anthony what kind of wood to take. Pe yes, it will be better. So Anthony, Lucius, and Beyond collected everything that could serve as fuel and returned to ship. Hey Lucius, I know you're in a hurry to fix your rosary, but since we're pretty far south, would you mind if we stop by my house on Grizzo Island first? I'll be quick, I would just want to see if old Wall is okay, and I wouldn't want to doubt Preda's work, but... What? Mr. Anthony, please consider the consequences, but that our delay could entail. Not just for me anymore, more and more Pokemon are losing their form and turning into bubbles. And if the second is right and Kyogre is the source of the problem, we can't afford to waste another single second. Even your Walren may have already turned into a bubble. Oh god, that, that's not good. Therefore, please understand that. What did you say? Well, it's a guess. I'm not saying that. We Anthony, wait! Don't leave us here, wait! Anthony quickly set course to Brizzo Island, ignoring most of the instruction that Lucius and Mion gave him. I have to get back home as soon as possible. I need to know if Wallace. Oh, Wall! Wrong way! Wrong way! Buddy, I'm coming home! Please be safe! Wall? Oh, Wall! Are you 
still there? Come on, Tony, why are you so nervous? I just baked this croissant, do you want one? Although they burn a little. Preta, where's the wall? The walrus? Well, now that you mention it, she went to the beach last night and hasn't come back since... I didn't worry about her, she will probably want some pressure and... Oh fuck. Hey, you really don't want croissants? No, no nobody wants to burn- No! Oh. There's no one here. Wait, that bubble. No, it can't be him, right? It can't be a wall. Mr. Anthony, please stop running around. Lucius, what is that Pokemon? What? Well... His form is beyond salvation. I had never seen anything like it. it it's like the cycle essentially left this Pokemon's prana. If someone came into contact with her in her current state, she wouldn't survive. Lucia, we don't know which one is it. We just have to do the usual, right? No, don't even think about it. Forget it. Even a mirror attempt will prove fatal. There's nothing to be done about it. Because you say so. Move out of the way. No, no way. I'm not going to do it. I would have allowed him to put his life in danger. Oh, you mean I won't allow you to put your life in danger, Lucius? Oh no, not again! Anthony, you have to listen. Even that Pokemon was wall. There's nothing we can do for it. Don't give your life in vain. It's not that I want to re really think about it, please. You, you told me that it's important to respect those who leave. Do you think that sacrificing yourself in a futile attempt to help him will be what your Pokemon would have wanted? <sighs> oh! No, no, oh, whoa, no. Why? Why do I always end up regretting everything? I should, I should have stayed with you all, wall. Anthony! Hey, Beyond, would you mind going back to the house? I'll take up this, I promise. You? You're not exactly good at dealing with. Please, please. Would you like to discuss it, Mr. Anthony? Talk it? In addition to the Guardian of the Sea, now you think you're a psychologist. I I'm sorry. I don't know what a psychologist is. Well, in the end, one way or another, in the end, everyone has left my side. My wife, my son, Wall. This was not your fault, Mr. Anthony, and as for your family, neither. No, it was. Yes, it was. I. After traveling half the world with my wife as an adventurer, the only thing I wanted was a place to raise our son and live peacefully together. We sat on this island and spent some very happy years. Kyle turned 8 years old, so my wife said that she wanted Kyle to go to another region to study and have adequate training that we couldn't give him the island. And I, I refused. It's true that Kyle was always interested in books and seeing the world, but we didn't have to travel to do that. And I was also afraid. After spending part of my life facing Pokemon and dangerous people like Carrier, I finally knew what it was like to have a home and a family. I didn't want to leave this place. I didn't want to abandon what it cost us so much effort to achieve. We had an argument, and then my wife said, well, Kyle and I are leaving. That same day, they took a boat. And after thinking about it coldly, after a few hours, I left after them. But it was too late. They had embarked. And the next day, they gave the news that a storm had sunk the ship they were on. I started thinking about all the things I could have done and didn't do. I never asked Kyle what he wanted or consider the value of my wife's words, who only cared about the future of our son. I regret all of that, and to this day I still do it. 
I always end up making bad decisions that end up hurting someone else. I must be a horrible person. No, that's not true. You saved me and helped me fix my rosary, and even confronted the guardians to make them see reason. Because you agreed to my place, you met beyond and got your ship back. And do you think I don't notice your enthusiasm when you saw a new Pokemon during the trip? Do you regret that too? Do you regret having accompanied by us all this time? No, but then don't say that everything you do is wrong. You're a good person. Just because you were wrong a couple of times doesn't mean anything. If you were really a bad person, you wouldn't regret anything. Am I wrong? Lucius, do you think that by going with your family, you will have prevented the storm? I didn't even notice it, and I am the guardian of the sea. Same with what happened to your walrin. If I hadn't been so useless as to break my rosary, I could have saved him. Do you see me constantly regretting? No. I try to fix what I do wrong because spending time regretting is of no use. <laughs> Why do you find it funny? No, no nothing. I was thinking you will be a horrible psychologist. Uh, but thank you very much, Lucius. I needed a little time to distract myself and let go of some things I had inside. You're right, maybe I should stop thinking about regret and start acting on it. I will do whatever it takes to try to be a better person. I'm glad to hear it. In that case, we can go back to your house for beyond whenever you say. Sure. Yo, I kind of feel bad. Oh, Walren is dead. God damn it. Yeah, don't eat them. You'll get sick. Oh, how heavy. I told you, they're just a little charred and that's it. Tony, tell your strange talking Pokemon that the croissants are well made. Anthony, how are you? It's hard for me to accept it, but at least I'm calmer. Are they black because they have been burned? Do you think that's a natural color represent? Uh, wow. I imagine you sh use the dough I have saved, right, Preta? If there's still s some left, we can make others I made it by the way. Yeah, really? Also, do you think we should hurry up too? Provision are important too. I won't be long. I'll make some baking and we'll go. Yep, Tony will make his famous croissants. Croissants. Yeah, they turned out well. See, I just having problems collecting the ingredients. So you admit it. Yes, I admit. Is something wrong? I'll take some for the road. And by the way, Prada, eating or rather wasting my supplies wasn't a deal. So I'll con deduct it from your work. Ah, uh, you got me. I just wanted some croissants. Croissants? What a hateful word. Yo, is it? Looks like everything is done. Let's get back to the ship and set to the last island when we're ready. Yo, is it weird that Beyond knows what croissant is, but Lugia doesn't? Yeah, let's go back to the ship. It's kind of really, really sad. Oh, Walwyn died. Well, I think that's island must be. That's it. It's the hull in the first. The first, huh? Does the order in which you name them mean anything? Not really. They're all three equally useless. Oh well, anyway, I think Talasa Island is the only one around that I've never been to. The truth is, that I wouldn't mind living in a cold place. If it weren't for the fact that I like to take care of vegetables. Beyond hates a cold and with all her might. Both Pontus Island and Glaco Island have problems with the merchants of the Talasa Island. Maybe we'll finally find out why. Oh, 
Oh, it really is snowing. Oh shit! It's... There's no people around. It's awfully quiet. Uh... Uh... You! It's cool, huh? Snuggle in my cloth to get warm. Thank you. You should be more than used to the cold of the oceans by now, shameful. You're shivering, you're shivering too, I see you. It's very quiet, will people be at home? Beyond would want to be away, of course. Let's take a look and ask about the first. Oh yeah, so that'll be all for today's episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed. It really is heartbreaking that we get to know what really happened to Anthony's family and... Yeah, it's kind of sad that Warren died. I mean, Warren's the only one that Anthony had, and motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker died. Holy shit, dude! That was so sad. I this this game story really got me. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy and you have a heart, so make sure to like. Comment when you guys think this episode. Share this with friends who love Pokemon and my host was subscribe. Subscribe if you love Walrin. So see you guys on the next episode of Pokemon Reminiscence. See ya. Peace.